again. So today, I got a video for y'all. It's really like a story time about my first car. So I got finesse low key, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I got finesse G. But let me show y'all the car though. So like, so y'all get a like, a lot. You know, a little image of y'all head on what I got. So this is what I got. That's crazy. This is a little, you know, this is my first car. This is my first car. When I, but, when, but when I first got it, um, when I first got it, I ain't had no, like this. I dropped the phone on y'all. The tent, something I added on there. I ain't had no tent on there. Uh, let me get a drip check real quick. Got, the, got a little V-Long shirt. Serena jeans. The Balenci's. Anyway, let's talk about the car. Can I set y'all up? Right, yeah. Let me see. So, it was my birthday. And uh, I, I, was, I was working at Walmart. I was saving all my money, like every single dollar. I knew, like, on my birthday, I wanted to get me a car. But at first, I was going to get me, it was like a 2017 Challenger RT. I got approved for, like, I ain't had no credit or nothing. So, like, they're they going to prove me, of course, but, like, my note would have been too high. And, like, I ain't have a problem with that because if I couldn't pay them up my hustle regardless, but uh, I don't think I was ready for that yet. Then I was going to get me an Impala, like, it was like a 2019. I was like, no. Nah. So, my birthday, I had... I had, I had enough to buy me a car, like whatever I wanted. I had a down payment, enough to buy a car at all that. So my birthday, I had gone home from school. My mama had took me to this, this little dealership. Yeah, I had looked at a few cars. This is the only one that looked like, cause really this like a, this like the girl version of like, it's like the Impala, the, the male version. This the girl version. This only look, look decent looking car. Other cars had probably like a dent on there. I didn't want all that. So I got this car. And we test drove, it was decent. Like it was it was it was perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. It, was, it had a little noise to it, but like eventually went away. The engine light was on, but like they were saying like it was like evap. It was, it was something. So fast forward. I got the car. I had it. It was it was cool. Like when I first got it, it was cool. I threw 10 on now. I was in love with the car. Like as soon as I put the 10, I was in love with it. But when I threw 10 on, I was just in love with the car. But then, what happened? Then, like, the, the car started throwing me off because, like, the engine light, it would come on, then it go. I got some on my nose. Don't judge me, y'all. I've had a cold. But it it go off and it come back on. And I'd be like, why is it doing that? Like, something really wrong. But I, I, would, I never got took. I never took it to get checked out because, like, it would always go back off. So... I just let it be. But then, like, my grandfather, like, he good with cars. So, like, well, he know a lot about cars. So, man, oh, there's nothing. When I first got it, he checked my oil. And it, I ain't no, I ain't no, no. I got to get this, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me see. Don't judge me. Ooh. Ooh. Don't tell nobody. Nah, but I ain't had no oil in that, but magic. I'm, I'm a dude, like. Everything I'm a, I'm a NASCAR driver, like speed racer. So I'm I'm in I'm going fast in the car. I'm doing all that with no oil in the car. It's a red flag. So he's like, dude, you ain't got no oil. So that that kind of threw me off, cause I ain't got no oil in the car. What? Boom. Then my OG put insurance on my car. I couldn't even, my OG couldn't even find the car. Like, you know, in insurance, you got to put, like, your year, the VIN number, all of that, and, like, the miles on that. But, like, the car, when it never came back to, to like, what we seen on the car, like, the miles and all. On the, When I first got it, it had, like, 118,000 miles on there. When my OG put it through the insurance, the car really had, like, 180,000. You know, a car like this, it probably don't, it probably ain't gonna last that much longer. Like after 180, it's probably either gonna shut off any second or what. It's an old car. It's like this is 2008 Malibu. Like it wasn't fun to last that long, regardless. But boom, what what else happened? So boom, I already was already frustrated, and we was gonna take the car back, but 
My mom was like, you already modified the car. You threw 10 on now. That all type of stuff. I'm like, yeah, this? Uh, this film, I can snatch that right off. But I understood what she was talking about. Because like, you got you to gotta return a car. You can't modify it or nothing. It got to be the same way. It got to be the same way you bought it. So I was like, cool. I took my L on that one. So when she told me that the mouth situation, I'm like, this car rigged, like. It could be more than more than that wrong with this car, cause like they basically went in and changed the mouse. So then, what else happened? Yeah, that happened. I'm sorry, y'all. It's it's a lot. Like this, this just, it, it just still irritate me to this day. Like, I don't know. Okay, that happened. Okay, look, my birthday is December thirteenth. I was on January thirteenth. I was driving from school, G. I was finna go get some gas. Cause me, I never let my car go below half. Like I always either half or was full. Like I always it was a half, I filled it back up. So I'm I'm on my way to get gas and I got my friend in the car with me. I came to a light and the car would not go. Like the car was on. I'm blasting music, so if the engine made a little noise or something, I couldn't hear it. So I'm trying to go, I'm trying to turn the car back on. The car would not turn back on. For nothing. I would not turn it on. Then she had called somebody. He had pushed my car out the way. That's why I got let me show you. I got a little scratch on Imagine. I I I'm a real driver, you know. I'm 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 just I'm just a real driver. I don't I don't hit nothing. But I got like a little scratch right here. I got a few scratches, like scrapes and scratches from the me, but I'm glad he did because he got me out the way, but he had got me out the way. And then uh I had called my grandfather. He was at the crib. I'm like, my car just sat down. He's like, well, what you mean? So he came over there and he seen it. But man, he uh, I ain't wanna call him. He was making a joke to him. Uh, I told you I'd be driving that car like that, but like, bro, if you know, if you a dude, if you got a V6 in your car, you gonna drive it like a V6. But I'll drive out like a V8. I ain't gonna lie. That kinda is my fault, but I don't know. So when he came, we jumped the car. He came back on. But like, when you do that, you really not supposed to come to a stop or like get shut off again. Cause like, the, my um, friend, the person she called, she, he was like, like the engine basically out of that light, it's over with. But when we jumped it, I was able to drive a little bit, but it shut back off again. Like I had to keep jumping. Like it's so, like my car not, have not been the same. Like I have jumping cables on my passenger seat. Like it's really that crazy. Like I have to, even it's time to come out the jump like look let me show y'all let me show let me show y'all i can't even turn the car on look it's all that pop up like it don't even it don't even crank no more like the car it don't even crank no more like ain't no turn this car on no more like and then like i had took it to this mechanic I, I I had told you some mechanic. He was saying like basically like the engine gone. Like I need a whole another one. So I was like, he had gave me his number to call. He was like, it's gonna cost this much to fix it. It's almost how much I paid for the car. Like it's not. It's less than what I paid for the car. How much the engine is? But like, I'm like, dang, like that's just too much. Like I could have bought another car, but and I ain't went about old car in the first place because I knew like. Around the time it was, it was a, it was a bad time to even buy a used car. Like, it was the worst time ever. Like I ain't want to buy. I want to buy something new. Probably get a warranty on it. I'm not buying this. I'm still happy with my car. It's my first car. I had I had a good moment. That's the thing. I only had the car for a month. On the day that I had this car for a month, like the day that made them that made a month, that's when it broke down on me. But I don't know. What was I gonna tell y'all? I forgot what I was gonna tell y'all. I can tell y'all something. What was I was gonna tell y'all. Yeah, the engine part. What was I was gonna tell y'all. Yeah, so the car just been sitting here since, like outside my crib. I just, I just can't use it. That's really it. That's when, that's when, like after, after he told me like how much he's gonna fix the engine. That's what I started to feel like. Dang, I got finesse. Like, they got me. They got me, like.
I bought this car and they probably knew like, cause like the place I went to, I think like, this is a small dealership and they get cars from the auction. They just probably like flip them. They probably do little stuff to them and they flip them. And I probably want to pre people like they got, like they got me. So that's why I feel like I got finessed out this car, but you live, you learn. It's definitely a lesson. Like I would never do this again. Like I would never, I'm never buying a car like this again. Any car I get them come from the dealership and get a warranty on it. Cause this like, I bought the car and it's like, I'm kind of stuck with it. Cause like, who, you don't want your money to go to waste. So like, I have to fix the car. So like, if it's like the money that I spent on the kind of money I spent on the engine, that's a, a real good down payment for a new car. So that's what kind of got me irritated. But hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna fix the car. I'm probably this gonna be up for sale. And I'm gonna sell it. I don't need this new engine. But I don't know. What did that just fail? Oh, yeah, I need a new engine, man. Yeah, but that's why I feel like I got finesse. Because they pull one on me, man. Hey, right. this is why I feel like I got finesse. It's title with a video. And I'm gone. And then another crazy thing about it is when I was buying a car, like, who I bought it from, I'm not going to drop no names or nothing. I ain't going to drop no names or nothing, but, like, she was making it seem like it wasn't nothing wrong with the car. It was, a, it was The car was perfect. But I guess that's what they got to do in order to make money. But let's like, why me, bro? Why me, bro? I'm a good girl. Don't do nothing to nobody. Why you got to sell me a car like this? But this life, man, it is what it is. Everybody ain't going to be good to you. But I'm definitely going to fix it. I'm going to sell it. I might go get me, like, scat pack or something. No, I ain't doing this no more. But, yeah. I ain't nothing to really... Then like in the car, like this, like the lock button and stuff, it never worked. Then like like my key, I I got two um sets of keys. Like the lock button don't work, so I have to always like come in here and like do this. Like I have to always come here and do that. What else is wrong? Nothing really wrong. It's a pretty decent car. I still kept it look clean. It started to get like the car only the car only started getting dirty because like I wasn't in there no more. And I just keep throwing stuff in there to, like, help me fix my car. See, I stay hydrated in my car. Look, new pack of essential water. Got my little brush. That's from, oh, that's my school. I went to a basketball game. That ain't nothing. But I kept my car pretty clean, though. I was big on the set, too. You feel me? I was big on the set. Got another one right there. What I have in here? All right, gum. I had no cars, man. You, yeah, you need to check them out. But then I had some real smell good in here like i was big on scent i really cared about my car but yeah man it is what it is man i got finesse but hey you live and you learn for real i know i keep saying that g but it's just like it happened to the best of us you know but i'm going for real okay.